Mallard. Let's take a look at the Oakland offense. The Barry Sands, Utah. Langston, Langston Walker, Walker, University of California, California at Berkeley. Jake Grove, Virginia Tech. Ron Stone, Boston Collins. Ron Gallery, Iowa. And Moss starts his Raider career as a flanker to the left. One back in the backfield, and that's the former Jet Lamont Jordan, whose first carry as a Raider is a gain of about seven up to the 35. Here is the New England defense. And on second down and three, a fake toss, and Collins throws, and it is caught. It's close to a first down. That's Jerry Porter because of a hamstring pull. He did not play at all in preseason. Makes the catch very close to a first down. Yeah, you can tell that uh, everyone's a little tight offensively for the Raiders. That throw was not a very fluid throw by Kerry Collins. I mean, he, he had Porter out there, and he kind of threw it behind him, and it looked like the first throw of the season when you're playing on the road against the defending world champion. And he reaches out and does get the first. You've got a two tight end set here. With Porter going in motion now on first down from the 38-yard line. Collins in his second season as a Raider. You've got a flag. You've got a free play with New England offside. And Randy Moss makes the catch at the 32-yard line. So with New England jumping, Collins is able to exploit it. That's a 29-yard pickup. And Richard Seymour was the guy who jumped. So unless he was induced, that will be Moss's Raider debut right there, a 20 yard game. Defense number 93 in the neutral zone out snap. This penalty is declined, the result of the play, first down. You know, and that's why Kerry Collins loves Randy Moss, because when you get this, like you say, Richard Seymour jumps, Kerry Collins knows that he has a free play. Luckily, he has Randy Moss going deep, so all you have to do, and Collins has said this, that this guy can jump so well and catch so well, all I have to do is get it up in the air near him and he'll get it. Not a work of art, but 29 yards on the stat sheet in the first down. Good play fake, and then Collins throws, and he hits Jordan out of the backfield. Inside the 10, and Jordan is out of bounds at the 4. So the Raiders in the offseason get Randy Moss, they get Lamont Jordan, and then they have this, a dream beginning to their opening drive of the season. You know, and that was one of the things that Bill Belichick was worried about is Lamont Jordan as a pass receiver. You know, you say that you know that he can run, and he's going to be a runner also, but he is an excellent, excellent pass receiver. Here you see the play fake. He comes off the play fake, gets out into the flat, up the sideline, and turns the speed on. The Patriots have gone almost two full seasons, 31 games without allowing a first possession touchdown by the opposition. That was a 28-yard game. First and goal from the four. Here's Jordan. And Lamont Jordan, who played in the AFC East, backing up the indestructible Curtis Martin. Didn't see that much action with New York. And Bill Belichick right now watching his team backed up against the goal line on second down and goal. And they've always been very good in this area defensively. And this is where the Raiders have been pretty good also. When they get down there, when they can bring Zach Crockett in and let him run the ball in there, he is a pounder that can push the line of scrimmage. And right now they're going to play Badger in an eligible spot. Two tight ends. Jordan is the tailback. The fake to him. Collins rolling right, throwing, caught, touchdown. Courtney Anderson, one of those tight ends. And so the Oakland Raiders coming off a 5-11 season at Foxborough against the Super Bowl champions make it look easy going 72 yards for the season's opening touchdown. Why did they quiet this crowd? Watch Kerry Collins on the play action pass. He fakes, puts the ball in his gut, and then goes back and finds his tight end wide open in the end zone. I think bringing Brad Badger in the extra tackle, you know, as a, as a tight end made him think, okay, this is run. I think the Patriot defense really sold out on the run. Sebastian Janikowski for the point after. So it takes three minutes and nine seconds. They run six plays. A 29-yard pass to Moss, a 28-yard pass to Jordan. 7-0 Raiders, just like that. 
أحداث ما بعد الانتخابات الرئاسية المصرية تحاليل سياسية أراء حول النتائج بين إيجاب وسلب مقابلات مع أعضاء الأحزاب المختلفة في الحكم والمعارضة شاطرون إثارة هذه اللحظات مع أهم أحداث ما بعد الانتخابات في برنامج القاهرة اليوم من السبت إلى الأربعاء في الأوقات التالية على قناة اليوم When the news is hot. Lisa, you will be the on-air voice for this story. Thank you, Dave. Okay, Lisa, try this. Still no news on that disabled train. Back with more in eight minutes. The staff have lost the plot. You know, you really don't have to call me boss. I know, I just do it sarcastically because it amuses me. <laughs> Then what have you got? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Emmy oh, Award-winning yeah. comedy. Oh, 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 news oh, oh, oh. Radio Sundays at 8.30 p.m. Riyadh time on Super Comedy. A predictable life. Places and faces come and go. I got five stops to make. Until that night. You killed him. I can't do this. It ain't my job. Tonight it is. So fasten your seatbelts. Slow down. Shoot me. <laughs> Collateral coming soon to TV Max. This telecast is copyrighted by the NFL for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this telecast or of any pictures, descriptions, or accounts of the game without the NFL's consent is prohibited. How does Kerry Collins like his new offense with Randy Moss as a part of it? Pretty good. 72-yard opening drive. And the Raiders lead the defending Super Bowl champion New England Patriots 7-0. That is the first touchdown, opening touchdown drive that the Patriots have given up in nearly two full seasons. 31 games the Patriots defense went without allowing a first drive touchdown to an opponent. We're going to send you back out now to Al Michaels and John Madden as the Patriots get their possession. Fielded by Kevin Falk at the six-yard line. He is the backup to Corey Dillon and runs back the kick after the 32-yard line. And let's welcome in Michelle Tafoya. Michelle? Well, hey, Alan John. You know, Bill Belichick has led the Patriots to three Super Bowl championships in the last four years. And after each one, he has successfully convinced his team they are not the defending champions. Dion Branch, Super Bowl MVP, told me the one analogy Bill Belichick used that has really stuck with him is that of a boxer. He said boxers defend their belts because they physically possess them. And they It can't be taken away, but you're not defending anything you don't have. We're all going after the Super Bowl this year, Al. And right now he sees his team immediately down 7 nothing, and Brady is going to go deep on first down and incomplete, intended for Deion Branch. That looked like the way the Raiders begin games. Let's take a look at the New England offense. Bakersfield. Tom Ashworth, Colorado. Logan Mankins, their number one draft choice, a rookie. At a Fresno State at left guard as Corey Dillon gets the carry on second down and 10 picks up a yard, maybe two. Here's the Raider defense. Bobby Hamilton, Sergeant Mills. Ted Washington, Louisville. Warren Sapp, the University of Miami. Tommy Kelly, Provine High School. Tyler Brayton, Colorado. Danny Clark, Illinois. Grant Irons, Notre Dame. Charles Woodson, Michigan. Derek Gibson, Florida State. Stuart Schweiger, Purdue. Namdi Asamoah, Cal Berkeley. And John talking at the beginning of the telecast tonight about that unit being the key to Raiders' success this season. Last year, they played very poorly out of basically a 3-4. This year, back to the base 4-3. And Brady will throw on third and long and complete it into Raider territory to Ben Watson, their number one draft choice a year ago out of Georgia. He was hurt on opening night, didn't play the rest of the season, but they love him. You know, and this is the area that North Turner was concerned in this, this third down, you know, getting off the field. The Raiders go in the, the four-man rush. They're in dime defense. They have six defensive backs in there, one linebacker, and the tight end beats them. Last year, the Raiders were worst in the league in third down defense. The opposition converting 47% of the time on third down. And that's why you wind up 5 and 11. And Tom Brady's pretty good at that. That was a 20 yard pickup, and then Brady floats one a little too high. Took something off it, and it just floated. Daniel Graham, the other tight end, was the intended receiver. It'll be second down and 10. And Graham is going to be kicking himself, and Brady is going to be kicking himself because one of them did something wrong because Daniel Graham was wide open. And Brady thought he was going to go to one area and then Daniel Graham was going to another area. 
And he had his other tight end, Benjamin Watson, open to play before that, and then Daniel Graham on that play. Dylan's out, and Kevin Falk comes into the backfield, number 33. Patriots carry only three running backs. And Falk, the backup to Dylan, is inside the 45 of the 44 yard line. It'll be third down and six, and Logan Mankins pulling, the rookie leading the way. Now you see the Raiders, they bring in six players on this down to play to play their dime defense. Six six players go in, and then of course six players come out. And this is the area, this is the area that if they're going to improve, you say generally they have to improve on defense, specifically this defense. Third down and six. Brady will operate out of the shotgun. They clock down to three on the snap, and then he throws, and it's caught in stride by Big Ben Watson. It'll be first and goal at the eight-yard line, and Watson, as we said a moment ago, the number one pick last year, lost the entire season outside of the opening game to injury, and he figures to be a very big part of their offense this year. And you can just see, here's Ben Watson right here. They have three men on that side. He just runs a post. He just runs right down the seam on Derek Gibson. And look at the lane that Tom Brady has to throw in. Two third downs, two first downs to, to Ben Watson. That one for 35 yards. Dylan back in. Corey gets it. And the longtime Bengal who came over here last year and gained 1,600 yards is stopped at the eight yard line. They talk about the Patriots and character and the guys that they want and Dylan of course came over from Cincinnati where he had the reputation of being a malcontent but they did their homework on him. They said you know what this is a guy who just needs a new atmosphere a winning atmosphere and he was the model citizen last year. And you know when you have a core of good players that are good guys and good leaders and a guy comes from the outside he's not going to lead that group he's going to have to fit in. And he did about as perfectly as they could expect. Changing the play, get it off to Dillon, and this time knifing through is Tommy Kelly in the second year out of Mississippi State as a rookie last year. Kelly led the Raiders in sacks with four, and when your leading sacker only has four, that tells you what kind of a defense you have. And, and that's a problem. And they had the problem getting the pass rush. And then if you don't get the pass rush, then the quarterback has enough time to, to find his receivers and throw deep. And that's what happened on the two, two uh, third downs that they've had so far. Rob Ryan, the defensive coordinator, used to be the linebacker coach here, son of Buddy Ryan. It's third down and goal. Raiders have a three man rush here. Brady surveys. Has time. Throws too high to the back of the end zone. He tried to hit David Givens, and that'll set up an Adam Vinatieri field goal attempt with 7.08 to go in the period. Remember when we talked to Bill Parcells during the preseason? He said that we're seeing more and more of that on third down where you're just rushing three as you get in the red zone and drop an eight. And that's exactly what the Raiders did then. It's tough to throw in the end zone against eight defenders. Adam Vinatieri, as you see, only missed two field goals last year, 47 yards and 50 yards. So this is simple, 26. And Vinatieri splits the uprights, and New England's opening drive results in a field goal. So it's 7:04 to go on opening night in the opening period. It's Oakland seven, New England three. في كل سنة وفي كل موسم. يحلم اللاعبون الشباب بالصعود إلى المستوى التالي الطريق طويلة وشاقة ولكنها تبدأ هنا كرة القدم الأمريكية للجامعات تبث كل أسبوع على أوربت إي أس بي أن عناصر العمل الفني الناجح الحوار الواضح دقة الإشارات الاندماج في الدور حبكة عبقرية
إنها كوميديا جهنمية مع ويلان غريس من السبت إلى الأربعاء في العاشرة والنصف مساء بتوقيت رياض على سوبر كوميدي is copyrighted by the NFL for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this telecast or any pictures, descriptions, or accounts of the game without the NFL's consent is prohibited. We're back with you Monday night. We'll be in Atlanta as week one wraps up as the Philadelphia Eagles take on the Falcons. ESPN's debut game for Sunday night football, Colts-Ravens from Baltimore on Sunday night. Boston, about 30 miles from Foxborough. As we get set for the second possession for the Raiders, Randy Moss ready for action as Adam Vinatieri will kick off. Chris Carr, the Boise State rookie, feels the kick at the nine-yard line. And Carr plows ahead up to the 33-yard line. And Kerry Collins and the Oakland Raiders, who drove down the field for a season-opening touchdown, will take over there. When we come back to Foxborough. No one plays the game like they do. For them, it's a way of life. Skills, thrills, attacking flair. That's what Brazilian football is all about. The Brazilian Championship, live Sunday at the following times on Adria Dia. الاحساس بالالم I just saw my son. My son is dead. الشعور بالكراهية I saw the man who did this. Could it be your son? It could be. Tell him mother. الغوص عميقا في غياهب الفكر. Taking lives يعرض قريبا حصريا على تي في ماكس. You talk like you think you can do what I do. I just bought a boxer for a buck. Boxing was the world of her dreams. I know potential, and I see it in you. <laughs> Until she found out. You bring it all on. I'm going to squash whatever you guys send my way. Reality was a little different. I ain't ready. The challenge was a little harder. There comes a point where fights got to stop. And the way to glory was a road to walk together. Knock him down. Knock him out. Meg Ryan, Omar Epps, Charles S. Dutton. Against the Ropes, now showing exclusively on TV Max. This telecast is copyrighted by the NFL for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this telecast or any pictures, descriptions, or accounts of the game without the NFL's consent is prohibited. The NFL is announcing tonight it is designating next weekend, September 18th and 19th, as NFL Hurricane Relief Weekend. The weekend culminates with a special fundraising telethon that's part of ABC's Monday Night Football's unprecedented doubleheader. The Saints and the New York Giants will be playing in the Meadowlands. It starts at 7.30 Eastern time from Giants Stadium. And then the Redskins meet the Cowboys in Texas at 9 Eastern time. More about that a little bit later as we get set for the Raiders' second possession. Randy Moss with one grab on the opening drive, good for 29 yards. And Commons is chased out of the pocket and has to throw it away because Ty Warren got loose from the left defensive side, number 94. And that's the first incompletion from Collins tonight. And you're going to see Ty Warren. He's the, he's the defensive end on the left side. He's right here. He's going to get the he's going to get the penetration and the pass rush. See, for some reason, Gallery, the right tackle, blocks down. They didn't even block Ty Warren, and he just gets a straight shot at Kerry Collins. Gallery, their number one pick last year, and the second overall pick in the draft out of Iowa. Second down and ten. Now Jordan and Lamont Jordan exploiting a little seam in the middle. Up to the 40 yard line. Jordan's been in the league for four years as a Jet. This is his first start playing behind Curtis Martin, as I said before, indestructible and almost never injured. So Jordan only carried the ball about five times a game, and now he's the featured back here. You know, it was interesting, though, in talking to Bill Belichick the other day, and, you know, he always has we have to take away this first and this second. The first name that he mentioned that he had to take away was the power running of Lamont Jordan. We all know who second was. <laughs> Third down and three. Where's number 18? And we've got a flag here as the pass intended for Courtney Anderson is incomplete. There's a flag on the other side of the field, on this side. Tony Correnti is the referee tonight. I think it's going to be a defensive holding, and if it is, it's an automatic first down. Holding. 
defense number 38 five yard penalty automatic first down directamente Tyrone Poole with the penalty you know, you know, you know. Randy Moss does a lot for a team, and we've talked about it. You know, I mean, he's going to catch passes, and you know, and he he controls coverages, and he does all those things. But he also gets penalties. You know, I mean, he'll get penalties for you. You see, Tyrone Poole held, but who did he hold? He held Randy Moss. Not the first time Moss has been held, nor the last. From the 45-yard line, here's Jordan. It must be so enticing when you see Randy Moss across the line if he gets a half a step on you to just reach out by instinct. Yeah because I think anytime you see Randy Moss and you're a defender and I know every defensive coach in the league thinks that, that he's going to go deep and every every defender and every defensive coach is scared of someone going deep on him. the two things I worry about is 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 the deep pass and the quarterback running and this guy to me is the most dangerous deep pass threat in football. Second down and eight. Here's Jordan. And Jordan across the 50th flag is thrown at the end of the play. He is knocked out of bounds at the 46, which would be a yard shy of the marker pending the call here. That's what Lamont Jordan does so well is start inside and bounce it to the outside. Holding offense number 89. 10-yard penalty. Repeat. Second down. That's the wide receiver on this side. That was Ronald Curry coming back from Achilles surgery after last season. Maybe that's how Lamont Jordan was able to get <laughs> to the outside because Helps. Curry was holding on that edge. And 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 that's that that is a tough run because he doesn't just go to the outside. It's not just an outside run as much as it is a bounce to the outside. That makes and he it, does that very well. Makes it second down and 18. The penalty occurred at the line of scrimmage, therefore 10-yard penalty from that spot. And that's why it's second and 18. It was second down and eight. One of the things you always think of North Turner is a, a passing coach, a quarterback coach, throwing it deep all the time. But I'll tell you, no one loves to run the ball more than North Turner. And he's had some great runners. For his years as a head coach and an assistant coach, as Collins has time, and then Moss draws a crowd. You had Willie McGinnis covering on the play, and he had help as well. It'll be third down and 18 coming up. Yeah, and that was good pass protection. Kerry Collins had plenty of time. As you'll watch his eyes here, he's looking downfield. You see, he looks to the right, then he looks to the left, then he's looking deep, and then he has to come back. You see, he has nothing out there, then he has to come back to his short guy. North Turner was saying that, that they put a camera in practice just on Kerry Collins' eyes to make sure that he is always looking upfield. Collins, 11th year in the league out of Penn State, second as a Raider, and they'll take a timeout here with 5.13 to go in the opening period, and the Raiders on top, 7-3 to three in New England. أشهر ميادين سباق الخيل في العالم أقوى الخيول أبرع الخيال وأثمن الجوائز تجتمع كلها في مكان واحد سباقة الخيل تبث حاليا على أوربت عندما تقصو عليك الحياة Given any thought at all to your future, I'm on your side. Where I'm from, having a dream doesn't make you smart. تنفس الصعداء وأعد ترتيب أوراقك. Who are you? Whoever you want me to be. فليست البيئة كما عهدتها. Do you ever wonder what your life looks like through someone else's eyes? وليس الأمر كما تتخيل. From different worlds. I'm not like you. المسلسل الذي يتابع مشوار ميرلوز بليس ذا او سي كل خميس في التاسعه مساء بتوقيت الرياض على امريكا بلس الاحساس بالالم الشعور بالكراهيه الغوص عميقا في غياهب الفكر تيكينج لايفز يعرض قريبا حصريا على تي في ماكس they were tied by passion. But Judy tore them apart. Forget about mankind. Head in the Clouds, coming soon, new and exclusive on Supermovies.
This telecast is copyrighted by the NFL for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this telecast or of any pictures, descriptions, or accounts of the game without the NFL's consent is prohibited. Well, everybody was stunned to learn shortly after the Super Bowl last year that Teddy Bruschi, the linebacker for New England, had suffered what was described as a mild stroke. So there is Teddy. He hopes to play again this season. The chances of that are infinitesimal. But he does, for certain, want to come back and play next year. Michelle will talk a little bit about it later. But there is Teddy Bruschi on the sideline. Third down and 18. Six defensive backs. Three linebackers and two defensive linemen by trade line up for New England. And Collins is going to air it out for who else? Randy Moss with triple coverage, and it's incomplete. One thing you know in that situation, the Patriots aren't going to leave Randy Moss one-on-one. -on -one. They're not going to leave him even two-on-one. <laughs> Here's Randy Moss out here, and you can see the corners running with him. The safety is back there. Eugene Wilson waiting for him, and here comes Rodney Harrison, the other safety, over to take a shot at him. I'll tell you, when Rodney Harrison <laughs> brings a load, doesn't he? he? If he runs that far, Rodney Harrison is going to get a hit in. That's the classic drawing the crowd example there is Shane Leckler, the Pro Bowl punter. Booms one into the night sky. Tim Dwight played with San Diego last year with a ton of speed out to the 32-yard line. Tim Dwight only 5'8", 180. But a great run back man has given the Patriots a 27 yard return to set them up for their next possession. توجه الأبواب الجديدة على الدور الهولندي انضم إلى أحمد شوبير وهو يستعرض مع أبرز المحللين والضيوف آخر الأخبار والنتائج والمراكز وأهم اللقطات من الدور الهولندي الدور الهولندي في أسبوع يبث حاليا كل ثلاثة على الرياضية Telecast is copyrighted by the NFL for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this telecast or of any pictures, descriptions, or accounts of the game without the NFL's consent is prohibited. A little less than five minutes to play in the opening period. Oakland on top 7-3. Taking the opening kickoff and driving down the field for a very quick touchdown. The New England Patriots with some changes and some big changes during the offseason. Eric Mangini, you saw him, now the new defensive coordinator. We'll detail that in a moment. But here is Brady beginning this drive from the same spot from which New England began its last drive.